Hello and welcome back to History Adulan. Today, let's see Environmental Studies 5th Standard 17th Lesson Across the Wall. In fact, you all love listening to stories. And today, I am here with a new story across the wall. The wall we are talking about here is not the real wall made up of bricks and cements, but this is an imaginary wall that is built in the minds of a human being. So what kind of wall it is? This is the story of those girls from Nagpada Basti who were denied to play with the boys. But finally, this group of girls came together and they overcome the several difficulties they had and they become superstar not of their own basti but in the whole of Maharashtra. The whole of Maharashtra became proud of this girl. So what is that story about these girls? Let's see in this lesson across the wall. Indian Express newspaper published a big news. Girls from Mumbai, Maharashtra made everyone proud and we are going to learn more about same girls. Just 13 years old Afsana Mansuri had already jumped over the wall, a wall between the Juggi that is slum and a local basketball court. The wall made by society for a girl who washes utensils for a living. The gender wall her mother put up for her. Here, wall not literally mean a wall made by bricks and cement, but a wall that pulls stop girls from doing something new or out of the box. Since today, Afsana jump over this imaginary wall set by the society and she have become a strong wall of Nagpada Basketball Association NBA Mumbai. Today, she is young star and the source of strength for five other girls of her team. This team has managed to surprise some of the Mumbai's club teams. With girls and courage, she reached the semi-finals of a district level tournament. Here, first you must know where is Maharashtra on India map and what are the districts. Group of states makes the country. Likewise, group of talukas make a district in a state. Maharashtra is also made of several districts. Teams own from each district played with each other and finally few selected teams meet in the semi-finals. Winners of the state plays with the teams of other states in the country. Afsana's team had won district level game and reached the semi-finals. Some people after reading Indian Express decided to meet this courageous Nagpada Basketball Association team. They took a train and got off at Mumbai's CTS station, railway station. From there, they walked towards Nagpada. It took them 20 minutes to reach there. There they meet Afsana and other girls of Nagpada Basketball Association. Let's read their interview with the team members. First, Zarin began. My house is just in front of this ground. My brother used to play there. I will stand in my balcony and watch the boys play. I was in class 7 at that time. Whenever boys played a match, many people came to watch. The winning team got a lot of praise. Everyone cheered the players. On seeing all this, I wished I could also play. Would I to get a chance to be the part and show my talent? I asked to the coach. He said, why not? If you bring some more girls, you can make a team. Then I will teach you. We asked, was it easy to make a beginning? Kushnur said, at first, my parents refused, but when I insisted, they agreed. Afsana, 
my mother works in flats and sends us to school i also help her when i told her about my plans to play basketball ammi mother got angry she said girls do not play basketball do your work go to school and study hard no need to go to ground to play but when my friends and coach sir talk to her amma agreed afrin we were not allowed because we are girls my grandmother gets very angry when all of us but still we three sisters come here to play grandmother scolds us and even our coach sir she tells us you need proper equipments to play shoes clothes and other things need to have lot of milk for strength and energy where will you get the money for all these things but daddy understands our feelings emotions he even teaches us some special moves used in the game daddy also used to play on this ground when he was young he did not had proper shoes clothes to play daddy tells us that bachu khan was their coach he realized potential in him since he gave him proper shoes and clothes my daddy could have become good player but due to his responsibilities at home he left the game and took up a job so wants us to play and become good players we asked tell us about your team one girl replied we felt a bit strange in the beginning we were the first girls team here people used to come and watch us practicing they were curious to see how girls will play basketball now people are no longer surprised they have began to accept that we girls can also play well afsana i was just 11 years old when we first started playing here we were not allowed to go anywhere else to play match but now we can go to other places for matches but this could happen only because of our hard work and sir's coaching and the girl in between yes we are really working hard sir is also very strict we first jog together and then do exercises sir teaches us how to play game well we practice how to keep ball with us to dodge the players of another team how to throw ball in the basket to score a goal to pass the ball well and to run fast on the court afrin sir says while playing don't think you are girls play like a player keep playing even if you get a little injured we support each other and say come on get up you will be fine now our game has improved a lot everyone says we play as well as the boys team we said tell us more about your team one girl our team is very special and united even if we quarrel fight we quickly forget and make up we have learned how to stay together and play even some of our team girls got chance to play as part of mumbai team zarin the match was at sholapur girls from different parts of the state were part of this team they did not talk to us nicely and treated us juniors would not give us chance to play properly there was no cooperation in the team they scold and blame for no mistake but nagpada basketball association team players do not get angry if we miss a basket we say never mind next time we will do it better it is most important to support each other because we all are part of team afrin after playing in sholapur we realize speciality of our team cooperation is our strength we understand and support each other even if a player is excellent team can lose a match if all do not play together as a team to play as a team is most important 
we asked did you face any difficulties khushnur replied as a girl even to be able to start playing was difficult we had convinced our families sometimes we even had to fight even today not many girls can play like this forget games earlier some people did not even allow girls to study my mother wanted to do many things but she never got an opportunity chance so my mother is standing like a strong wall strong pillar behind me and encourages me to be a part of games drama swimming and other activities afsana even now we are supposed to go home as soon as we finish playing the boys go here and there and can have a chit chat till late no one says anything after coming from school i helped my mother with cleaning work in two or three houses do my studies and then come here to play if my brother wants tea and he makes it for himself then mother says he has three sisters eight he has to work this is what the set of mind of our families one girl not only this look at zarin's younger brother he is only 5 years old but says mummy why do you send didi to play she does not look nice playing like that on the ground and if ask him if he will play then he says i am a boy of course i will play see the difference in thinking afsana but it is good for everyone to play we have now realize how much we benefit from playing i want to be such a good player that other girls and boys would wish to like me see the great thinking of these girls even after going through a hardships and hard time you must have been also part of team and played for your school or the neighbor neighboring teams you must have realized difference in playing for self and for team also when we play for team we play together unitedly understand and cooperate with each other also realize we must not differentiate between girls and boys both are equal and respected with each other we all know about indian cricketers and we like them all sachin tendulkar mahendra singh dhoni virat kohli yuvraj singh rohit sharma and so many but do people also know and like indian players who play some other games surely your answer must be yes women girls kho kho team kabaddi tennis cricket hockey football etc are there what do you feel about this Indian women's kabaddi who own more than 25 medals and this team is also famous as golden women or golden team Indian women's football also won many medals at international level what may happen if women or girls are not allowed to play they may not realize the talent hidden in them will not succeed what will you feel if you are not allowed to play will feel bad isn't it have you heard of women player yes sania mirza famous for long tennis sania nehwal badminton pt usha who brought more than 100 medals in running event athletic event karnam malleshwari weightlifter jwala gatta left handed badminton player even girls get recognition in other than sports like kiran bedi who was first woman to join indian police service kalpana chawla was the first indian origin woman to go into space indira gandhi first woman prime minister of india pratibha patil first woman president of india bachendri pal first woman to scale climb mount everest which is the world highest mountain 
The efforts put in by the coach Sir Noor Khan to make Nagpada Basketball Team Association a famous one was a remarkable one. Noor Khan told us this part of Mumbai is very crowded. It's the only playground in the area. Its name is Bachu Khan Playground. A person named Mustafa Khan used to live in this area. Everyone was afraid of him, but children were very friendly and fond of him. So, everyone started calling him Bachu Khan. There was no ground then. It was just a muddy land. Bachu Khan used to train children to play. We were among these children. It is because of Bachu Khan's devotion and training that players from this area are able to compete with the teams of other countries. Like Bachu Khan, I have trained the children of this area. Today, our team had some who played at the international level. Some have even won the Arjuna Award, which is the highest award in Indian sports. Noor Khan continued, In the last few years, we have also prepared a girls team here. Our girls play for Maharashtra state team. They practice well with good discipline. Our girls and boys comes from different types of families. Some are from poor homes while some are from richer. Some study in Urdu medium and some in English. But once they come here on the ground, they all are one team. Think and write. The newspaper report said, Apsana had jumped over the wall, the gender wall that her mother had put up for her. Think and write in your own words what was this wall. What do you understand by gender bias? In fact, gender bias means differential treatment for the boys and girls. In many families and societies, girls are not allowed to study, to play and to opt a career of their choice. Afsana has also suffered some degree of gender bias. Her mother wants her to be household, but Afsana overcame this bias bravely and jumped across the wall of gender bias, the wall that has been put by her mother. So this is our lesson across the wall. Thank you very much.